Okay, I'm going to introduce to you the new Google Sites. At any time during the video, feel free to pause the video and then resume after you have completed the task. To create a new Google Site in Google Drive, go to New, Down, and across to Google Sites. This will put you into the new Google Sites and open up a site to begin. You will name it up in the top left hand corner and then let's name this site the biography of and then put whoever you are doing your biography over. Next, let's name our home page whoever you are writing your biography on. For my sample, I'm doing Abraham Lincoln. Notice in the bottom left hand corner of the banner, I can change the background picture to something selected here in this list. I also can make my banner different sizes. or have no banner at all. I can also go back and search for a picture of Abraham Lincoln and load that in. Notice in the bottom right hand corner there's these little stars. What that is if you enable that, it gives better readability on your banner, especially if you have a photo. And if you disable it, you'll notice that your banner's harder to read. The column on the right hand side contains all of the different things that you can insert into your web page. First of all, text. You can create a text box. If you look off to the left, you can enhance the text box by giving it a colored background. Also, if you notice, the little dialog box above the text is where you can determine the size of the text, if you want it to be a paragraph, how you want it to be aligned, if you want it to be a title. Next to the text, you can insert photos. When you click on that, you can upload a photo, you can search a photo. Uh, it has a great search feature to it that will ensure you have photos that are copyright friendly. Now, one of the cool things about the new Google Sites is you can move stuff around uh, and put it in as many as three different columns. The next thing I want you to notice is you can grab a website by copying the URL and using the embed icon and pasting the URL address in there and inserting a web page and again you can line it up and then go down to uh, the next feature that you want to insert if you will double click on the web page then this uh, tool wheel will come up and again it contains the same options as what is located on the column on the right I do want to mention that you can also upload photos from your computer that maybe you have saved from your research. You'll, once you get it uploaded into the window, then you'll click the upload button and you will see the progression window to the right. Again, you can align wherever you want. And one of the cool things, you can add text and maybe make it a title. After you get your text in there, you want it big enough to be a title. And then you can enhance it 
by clicking over on the left. And then there are these little grab handles that aren't all the way to the left so that you can move the text around and put it either above or below. Now, the second tab on the column on the right is for adding pages to your website. So you just click the little circle to add a page. You can also add videos from YouTube. And so if you click the YouTube icon, then you can search directly in the window here. And I know that I want the Gettysburg Address that is narrated by Jeff Daniels. And so I look in the list and I find the video that I want and select it and then insert it. And then again, I can line it up wherever I want. You can also put it to the left or to the right and add text beside it. So if I add another page, and I'm going to call that the second inaugural address. I messed it up so I can click the little three dots or the hot dog menu and I can rename my page. Maybe I may want to delete the page. That is also, if I decide I don't want the page, that's also where I would click to delete it. Again, I can pull video. I can also um, search video say I've got the URL address of a YouTube video I can paste the address in the search window and it will find the specific um, video for me I can also um, add a title to identify this particular video and as I type in my text and then I select title, will enlarge the text. And then I can move it wherever I want. I can enhance it. Notice in the top right corner, I have the navigation for the three pages that I now have in my website. The third tab of the column on the right is the themes tab. You can change to these different themes that Google has designed for your web pages and then also notice within the different themes you can select different color schemes. So you might check all of those out to see which would go best with uh, your topic. For people to be able to see your website, you need to make sure that you open your share settings by clicking the share icon and selecting anyone with a link can view. Make sure that you have can view and not can edit. Also, you can add people to be able to edit on your website as well. Notice the preview icon at the top right. When you click on the preview, you can see what your website's looking like. And over in the bottom right corner, you can even be able to view it on the different devices, a mobile device, a tablet, and a desktop or laptop. The last thing we need to do is publish our site. So click the publish button and give your website an address. I'm addressing my Witherspoon Biography Project. After you create the address, select anyone on the web rather than anyone at MISD and then also click publish. Notice the down arrow beside the publish button. Here you can reach your publish settings which were what we set originally. You can also view your published site. The third thing that you can select is to unpublish your site. So this is how you build content 
in the new Google Sites.